too much at first, but they're lo pe the world is losing a lot of money right now, but well, everybody's concern is just keeping people safe, and I kind of love it. I mean, no, I don't kind of love it. I kind of like the president a little bit more. Not that I liked him before, but you know what I mean. He was all ghetto and hood, all on Instagram, all on, um, <laughs> all on everything, Twitter. He was on everything. <laughs> oh, Aaron Tyler, why y'all be scaring me? Y'all play too freaking much. That's what I get. Mm -hmm. Okay. So early. Okay. So you you so you be trying to be like oh whole grudges and payback, huh? Mm -hmm. My oven is already set at four fifty. I don't like the way this looks. Here. I season my food up in the and luckily I'm not cook, cooking um, like chicken or something because I'll leave it in a, in, a, in a sink like old school like grandma's used to. All right, so. I don't think y'all want to see me season my meat. Anyway, I'm just gonna talk to y'all. I don't know that. Oh, because I got the, ch the, ch the chicken breast fingers or something. I should put more chicken in here, shouldn't I, Erin? Erin, you don't know nothing about how to scare people on these snacks. Anyway, what I was saying before I was interrupted so I could get back. The president always sent all that like, little hood president to me. He was always on Snapchat, check, Twitter, and all kind of crazy stuff. But this is the first time I've actually seen him in real life. Like, action, I guess I'm trying to say. Like, hearing Donald Trump. Ooh, why did you see that little? Shut up and watch your mouth, dude. Um, he's still a grown man. Um, 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 um. um uh, it's like that they don't, people don't really care about the main if they're losing. That I see. Um, they really care about keeping people safe. And usually this place is more money. They don't care who gets sick. The games are canceled. So much is going on. I love it though. Like the like the people are coming together. It always takes something crazy to um get us together, keep us together. But hey. We're coming together. I'm very happy and excited about it. Why was I just watching this YouTube? Why did this girl trick her mother and she said her daughter put the corona in the refrigerator? Oh my, like, what's she do? I'm thinking of a little bacteria stuff. Oh, it's funny, but it's sad that people are dying. She put a corona beer in the refrigerator. Lady had a mask on, gloves, and so forth. It was like, oh. I can't help but to laugh a little bit because she's like, I'm here to take all your tissues. It was just fuck it was just ridiculous, but it was kind of funny. 
but I mean, I guess you gotta find some humor, a humor in it. First, when I seen it, I was like, that's not funny. The people are dying every day. Y'all making me mess up. I gotta put this on my food. Cut it up. When they come out, I'm gonna cut it cool for a minute, cut it up real good, and put it all through the chicken. I'm not, I don't think I'm gonna be, I'm not gonna have any else. I don't eat pasta, I don't eat that kind of stuff anymore. Um, and it's kind of working out. Oh, you know what's so funny? My body is changing. My face is changing. But I still weigh like the same. It's just so weird. I don't get it. But, um, I got to bleach my sink after I put chicken in my sink. I always spray my sink. Because <laughs> I don't know I get that from my dad or my grandma. I don't know. My dad was the cooker in our family when we were younger. So I'll probably get it from my dad. You gotta get that chicken stuff away from y'all. So that chicken to get you sick too, right y'all? Okay. I think I used my stuff. Talking to y'all, I'm not to mess up my food, but it's impossible to mess up my food because I can cook. I really love to cook. This is what it's looking like. This looks like my Cajun seasoning. Uh, Cajun, I should have put that Cajun instead of the chicken like this off, y'all. Cause it ain't in here. Where is it? <laughs> yes, I'm gonna do this for him, and then I don't know. I I'll probably cut a couple pieces up out of there for me. Where is my Cajun? That's so funny. I just used it earlier. Did I use it up? Did I use it? You got it, girl. You got it, girl. That's my granddaughter's song. She's always singing that song. She knows to me. Here it is. I put it way up here where it don't go. <laughs> I got it. I got my Cajun seasoning. <laughs> yeah, so a little bit of over here because I give it that little good taste. And then I'll let it get in here. And I'll give it about 25 minutes. No, 20 minutes. And then my husband's going to come downstairs like, Baby, so smart. What you cooking? Baby, <laughs> so smart. What's up, YouTube? How you doing? I'm Aaron's mom and I'm cooking chicken alfredo tonight. <laughs> you got it for the YouTube channel too. I shouldn't wear my hair so much. So make sure you subscribe to mom. Okay. I'm going to tell you my name. Alright. Um, Aaron Cardona. He watched out for his channel. He be doing his little video. If he was on my channel, it would be something with a little teddy bear doggy. Y'all watch that. <laughs> my arms are like a man. Look. Text me if you want to. <laughs> I'm only on here. I'm going to tell y'all why I'm on here. Now she know why I'm on here. <laughs> She's probably proud of me saying her name. <laughs> she all know why I'm on here because my girl Miss Wilson was like no video today and for some reason I don't want her to worry about me <laughs> so I'd be like let me just do anything I'm gonna wash my dishes right now though oh I'm scared I got this stuff this is good stuff I don't know it's cheap but I can smell the stuff in it it's wrong my kitchen's a little bit junky though I was feeling um, irritated like yesterday. I was feeling. Got dishes over there. Don't don't judge me. I hate to cook and my dishes ain't done. But I realized what time it was. I'm like, oh crap. But everything goes just clean like a stove in the counter area. So I was able to season my meat and least put it in there. And then wash my dishes and talk to y'all real quick. Because my husband was hungry before I took a nap. And I thought he was in here making something. But he waiting on this. <laughs> Check it out there. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah. What am I doing, Lord God? Talking to y'all. Um, I get a lot of um. I take a, I use a lot of these kind of containers because y'all know I was visiting my kids on Wednesday. So I would like to prepare them food and take their snacks and stuff in my containers like that. And so since they be out, we just be using them, eating them in it. But I do have regular dishes. <laughs> Um, yeah, so, um, so I've been kind of just a little bit freaked out lately, like freaking out inside because now we see the kids on Saturday and we see them on the home. I'm going to take my ring off. <laughs> my husband always be like, you're good, you're working. I'm not going to leave my ring, honey. I did before it was so weird, you know, I'm going to be out in public without my ring. Back in bed, I ring moving, so. God is good. Okay, y'all know I'm, I'm a recovery alcoholic addict, and I couldn't hold on to no diamonds like that. I used to have a ring for ten thousand dollars, a ring for seven thousand. I used to have Gucci bags, everything. The second I started drinking, within a week's time, all that was gone. But that's material things. I'd rather have life. At least I learned from that. 
um, um, so, can y'all see me? <laughs> this is gross. Um, so, oh yeah, but my babies, <laughs> my babies come home on Saturday now. So the visit's not on Wednesday no more, it's on Saturday, but we get to have them for six to eight hours. But I'm so anxious for it. I'll be all in my head thinking about it, and it makes me kind of, I be getting like frustrated and then snappy, like not snappy, just like, ah, oh, I can't wait. And I'm so excited, like I'm super excited for the day gonna come. So I know it's gonna come, so I'm trying to like take time and relax and just enjoy the day instead of trying to rush through this month. Because when this month is over, we'll have four more weeks before they officially come home. So, <laughs> I don't want to not enjoy the time that God has given me back clean and sober and sobriety. But if y'all can feel me, I'm like, okay, Lord, thank you. But I'm trying to rush through March, and I'm not really enjoying March. And there's so much in March that I can enjoy, like the weather is changing. Um, it's getting pretty out. I can enjoy my clothes. You know, so I do try to stop and smell the roses, but it's so for the most problem in my head. And I'm thinking about work, and I'm thinking about um, what am I going to do to take care of my baby. Excuse me, y'all. <laughs> Don't pay my shirt, no, I know it's Sunday, but this shirt says something out there. I don't like it. Oh, it's coming along. Um, so, um, I got on snacks right there. I used to have more air in the snack, and I got to go back to the dressing room when they get home. I'm just so excited they're coming. It's almost over. I'll be watching their little videos in the fall for their visits. And I just want to hold my baby, my little baby Ellie. I see her growing on the videos, and it's just like I'm missing my baby growing. All because of the choices that I made when I was drinking and doing drugs and drinking and making not, but not making choices, not being the parent that I should have been as far as, you know, arguing and screaming and making my kids think that's how life goes, life doesn't go that way. So I'm really happy that God gave me the time to put them in a safe place so that I could get myself together. I know I was getting myself together though. I really didn't. <laughs> I was doing very minimum and, um, like I would go see my kids and stuff like that, but they actually drop me in. I would make up reasons why I can. I figure as long as dad do what he's doing, this is the alcoholic thinking, they'll be all right. But now they still got alcohol. Mama, they come home and still going to be the same crap. God was like, all right, my child, I love you. It's over. It's time for you to just be the woman that you want to be. And I'm going to help you do that. And that day that I sorted that stuff and I died and came back to life, I promise you guys from that day. <laughs> That surrender is the most amazing thing. And that supernatural, they used to call it me. And I'm like, I don't know what that is. I know what it is. God took the desire, the, the taste. He took it from me. I have not had a desire to drink a beer. I'll be having dreams that I drink a beer. I wake up so sick. And I'll be happy to realize it was only a dream, but people have used a dream because it was a part of my life for so long. And then, like, I'll ride somewhere and I'll see people I used to use with and I'll pray with them and feel so bad for them. Then I have dreams about dreams about them or a certain situation we were in before or just something weird, you know what I mean? But I know today, working the program, that it's just losing dreams and that don't mean nothing. It's normal. Don't trip on it. So I'll be real happy when I wake up. <laughs> That it wasn't real. So yeah, um, so we gotta get the beds on. I'm gonna burn myself. <laughs> we gotta get the beds on Tuesday. Something went wrong when we went last time, but hopefully this time everything goes right. So I can leave and decorate your room and get your beds together. Watch my husband come down here smell the food. I promise y'all, it's like clockwork. Watch my baby come down these stairs. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We keep feeling kisses in my sleep. I fell asleep on the couch because he was playing the game. Plus, I just want to lay on my couch. I like my couch sometimes. I wake up this big black dog here. Me and Sam don't be kissing me on the floor. Here. Like, what are you doing? Leave me alone. What? I'm still in my kisses. Well, I'm going upstairs to see what he's doing. He's sleeping in the chair like an old little man. <laughs> so I said, somebody can still in my kisses. So I kiss him on the floor here and I kiss him on his face. And he blamed me for messing up the TV. The song to Mr. Jeff are out. When I come downstairs, life is good. Me and my husband's relationship is so amazing. It's like I'm getting to know him all over again. I'm getting to know myself all over again. And he's not bad. 
I know my husband at, every day. I know where he's at all night. I know who he talks to. I know what he does because he's always here. He never, I never had to worry about him not being home. I never had to worry about calling him and him not picking up. I don't need to buy a bus out a window trying to come back the next day. But other than I never, he was there through all every every pregnancy, every um, but every labor, every birth, every everything. He's always been there. Like I'm so blessed and grateful to have a man like him and it's, it's amazing but me and my sisters all got pretty good too so so we learned we know we want it by looking at our dad so he did a great job you know, we respect from a man even though we had our issues who don't you know what i mean it makes you stronger if it's meant to be you're gonna be um i spray stuff i spray my whole thing get off um, so yeah, I'm just really, really anxious and really, really excited. I'm really just like, it's coming, it's coming. It's like a mama getting ready to have a baby all over again. <laughs> Every day I'm trying to do something different in this house and it's, it's coming now, it's coming. I think this week will be fine. It's already the, uh, I'm telling my kids and why I'm anxious. It's already the third week of this month, <laughs> so it's over. So, um, what did I do with these cups? So we got a lot of flashy things going on in this house, but who wants to throw away their good big cups like this? I'm like, oh, baby. <laughs> then I want to go like them all of them. And when I was in treat, my, my husband ordered a lot of Chinese food. So there's so many Chinese trays around here. <laughs> but I, I'm like an old person. I was wanting to keep them. <laughs> so some of them I just be like, I'm not pushing that. If I get too much of them, <laughs> But this is relaxing to me. Nobody can come to my kitchen and do nothing. Only thing I like my husband to do is sweep the, um, my wipe off the stove because my nails are so long. I don't want to break them. And sweeping, I like to sweep, but I just say it used to make me feel like a slave when I was younger. <laughs> so I guess it stuck with me. Although I know different now. <laughs> my house, I got to sweep. But it's just so weird. I have a thing about sweeping. Not saying I won't sweep. Um, I don't know. I went to the park today. I took my son Aaron to the park today. We go out around our area. We live in a very beautiful area. I really appreciate it. Um, put in my car, guys. I'm sorry. I'm just cooking my chicken in here. I have to wash my dishes and make sure my counters are cleaned off. And then I'm going to take out my um, Alfredo stuff to have that ready. I'm not sure if he wants um, peas in it. Oh, I'm going to see Oh, I have mushrooms. Good. Y'all don't have my cover. I got a little lady cover. I got all my cameras in there. I don't have my sour cream, y'all. Look, it's two boxes of nothing. Don't laugh at me. I'll be stacking up. My grandma said, as long as you got some canned goods, you ain't, you, you, you better make a meal, you ain't hungry. Something like that. I just do it for my granny did it. So, oh, this cup broke. Um, yeah, guys, so I'm not doing much of nothing. This is like, I don't even know what time it is. I don't know. I don't know what time it is. It's, um, oh. Oh. Okay. I can throw this out. So, yeah, my baby's like, come on. It's not microwave. The spray goes out the place. I'm about to throw this up with water. Oh. It's coming together, y'all. Oh, I was serious about not smoking, y'all. Look at this. This is some nicotine gum my doctor. Nicotine gum my doctor gave me. I went and talked to him about smoking. I'm serious about that. But I have to be completely. Why is this red open? I have to be completely. Like not completely, but just keep being willing and keep it open and keep on wanting to try to stop smoking because I want to stop smoking. I feel like I'm still messing with my life and it's still selfish to smoke because I got kids and I don't want to kill myself. Um, you know, I'm going to have no parts to do with my life because I didn't make healthy choices when I die. It'll be from old age or something like that. I know my husband coming soon. Oh, I'm so tired of me and came yet. <laughs> but yeah, guys, I'm pretty much, I'm just in the head space. I, well, I gotta remember, I stopped, and I haven't been to a meeting lately neither, and that's probably part of the reason, because when I'm thinking about what they're talking about or helping somebody else, I'm not in my head so much, so I do realize that, so tonight I'm going to go to meet after I get done cooking, 
got to make sure I always do that. I need my medicine. Not just like I have diabetes, I got to take my medicine or I'll be sick again. Because it is a disease of drugs and alcohol. It really is a disease. It's a mental thing. But I'm just too anxious for my kids to come. I'll be kind of depressed or kind of like anxious feeling to hear back from jobs and then some don't call you back. And it's like, dang. But I got to keep believing that God has something better. As long as I keep applying myself, don't wear some down shade. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh-uh. My YouTubers don't like when I move around. Sundown shake. I'm messing with y'all. <laughs> I'm happy though. In the day, I'm still the happy same goofy girl. Real goofy, real stupid. <laughs> I've been happy from the day I, I walk in treatment. It's been happy. Oh, y'all, my kitchen is coming alive. Ooh, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. My kid's chin is coming. My kid's chin is coming. Well, what y'all don't feel about it? Nobody's sitting here. <laughs> That's my anxiety medicine and my cancer medicine and some pain medicine. I'm about to actually give it all the things. I'm about to actually should clean this. I should clean that out real good. That's, and that's at least old baby food and stuff in there that, you know, you know, you want to see the throw off stuff for your kids when they get in here. I'll put different things in like our snacks and stuff like that. <laughs> Know what's on the back of this shirt, but it's skulls on this Sunday. Oh my god, why I thought church was closed today, y'all. Y'all, like, I don't have a makeup or anything. I thought church was gonna be closed with so many words, and plus, my kids are coming Saturday, so if it was open, I probably wouldn't have went because I don't want anything making them sick or I get sick and then they don't let my kids come. But I was telling my husband back in the day, I was drinking beer off people and everything, so who am I? But, um to get what I need to stay clean and stubborn, but God, God knows I love him, and I know that I have him, and I'm making better, clearer thinking choices today. It was one part of my thinking to change it, so I've made a better choice today. Um, I don't want to get my kids sick. And I don't want the social worker to say, oh, well, you know what I mean, like, oh, they can't come because, um, I'll, cause I'll let her know if I feel a little sick, cause I feel what it, that would be so selfish to still let my kids come on that I don't feel good, cause I want to see them. I'm practicing not being selfish, and that would be very selfish. If anything, I would just, you know, be going to the see the kids and stuff like that. But, yeah, I was telling my husband, like, back in the day, I'll go do a hell speed of snow to get a drink. Or I'll drink off people, share stuff off people. So who am I not to go to church come off the coronavirus? But, like I said, my thinking is clear. My thinking is better. And I don't want a chance getting sick. And then um, my kids can't come home for the Saturday. So. But I read the Bible. And I'm going to look online tonight when I lay in And we're going to... Um, um, look up some um, meditation. Look up our old church, mega church, and get a message from them. I know they got a strong power going. one. Damn, hear all her message. I spoke to some people today about God. You know, like that. So, we, we, we never far from God. He sure ain't far from me. But it, I just felt a little bit bad about it. Especially when I found out the church did happen today. Because I was so sure. Because they were saying church coaches. <laughs> churches were closed. <laughs> okay. Good so morning. Get the back of the shirt. Good luck to see it. You got it, girl. I keep hearing Kagan right here. My daughter hasn't been calling since I went to the doctor's with Kagan. When she got her shots, I wanted to get her a TV shot. I want to know if, how the shot did it, did it puff up, did it was red, how she was feeling, did she have a beer for long. My daughter hasn't called me since I went to the doctor for her funky but My 23 year old daughter, Mandy. I'm at home. Now it's not going to turn my soul away from this little plastic stuff. Oh, lady, I got stuff everywhere. I don't know why I keep telling my old lady. <laughs> I'll get things done real, real quick. He ain't go to the bathroom. Come back upstairs in the whole house be clean. I don't be playing with him. I don't be playing. It looks better now. Even better. That's my prayer. This prayer right here says, um, it got wet. My son Aaron spilled milk on it. Then I'll leave it in the milk. Oh, kids. I was just like, you know what, just clean up after yourself. It says, Dear God, thank you for taking me this far in my recovery journey. Now I pray for you for your help. 
I pray for your help in making me be there and be entirely ready to change all my shortcomings. Give me the strength to deal with all of my character defects I have turned over to you. Allow me to accept all the changes that you want to make in me. Help me to be the person that you want me to be. In the name of Jesus, amen. I read this all the time, but no, it's all stiff. <laughs> I, I should get a frame for it. Buy that better one and then put a frame, but always keep this one because I started. I love it. I don't want to ever forget. Ever, ever forget. Ever, 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 ever forget. My bananas are going bad. Aaron won't eat the bananas. Let's have a time out. There's one candy here. Why do you like the box? Why do these kinds of boxes throw it away? You make me think there's in here. When I go to the store, I don't buy them because I think there's some in here because I don't eat this. Jar. No. <laughs> you just gotta laugh sometimes, I swear. Your head. That's all you gotta know. Why you just ain't throw the box in the garbage, boy? You got me thinking there's candy in there. There's only one. What? Don't ask me where. where. Don't ask me where. where? Shut up, I'll punch you in your head. On TV. Like, I mean, on you too. Right, talking about small TV. Shut up, it is TV. Okay, so I'm done. This my YouTube channel. I got one hundred and some subscribers. You got so uh. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, no. You should have washed the dishes for me. Good, you ain't cleaning my kitchen up. Tell me. If I do wash the dishes, I don't have to tell you, boo. I shouldn't have to tell you, boo. I'm gonna come out. Get out my camera. Look at this big face boy. You leave some more trash. It's me. You got my um, prayer thing um, with milk on it. Now it's all stiff. I can still read it though. You put all that milk in there. That was just bold. Yeah, well, you both are in Throw that bowl away. Did you throw it away? No. Oh my God. So how do I know a bowl is going to leak out on me? Oh no. Oh Lord have mercy. <laughs> you happy on mommy's sober, Erin? Yeah. You really happy? Mm -hmm. You want to talk about it a little bit or no? Oh, okay. okay. Sorry, baby. I like it. What do you want to talk about? Food? Nope. I'm about to go tell them a story real quick. Hey, love you. Bye, you too. Y'all been kidnapped. Okay, got... Oh, I did. So, 15%. Y'all might not know me. Um, okay. Hello. Okay, so... I'm going to tell you this, this story. I punched this one fat kid named Cody. I punched him right here. Like, right here. And so... One day back in first grade, we was, um, yeah, okay, sure. Yeah. You can actually do, we can do a Q&A later, or you can do your video later, but I think it's kind of rude. I should try to, like, kind of finish off this video first. Okay, baby? You I'll tell y'all later. I can tell y'all later. Oh. Um. What's about to say? My hand's busting out. Um, 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 um. He threw me all off. I don't know. I think it's kind of rude. Y'all talking to y'all. He picked up on the whole uh, story. I'm like, we'll just do it later. Let me put y'all back up here because it's like y'all looking at my bottom. Okay, that's better. Oh, all right. So I think it's a better in here. I'm really excited now. Like I feel better now. Don't as a woman when your kitchen is clean and you got food cooking on the stove, or as anybody. But mostly for me, it's being a woman. I love the way it makes me feel. Light a couple candles in the living room and wait for the food to be done. I used to cook my food up early when my kids would come. Like about four o'clock, the food be done. Maybe they can little snacks, whatever they want. I stay in the kitchen. <laughs> I love it though. So now it's a little bit late. I used to cook in here and make me really, really sad. I want to cook nothing in the kitchen for a while. 